They are signs that show that you're bad at coding. And indeed, they show that you're poor at programming. Let's look at these signs that may show that you're bad at coding and indeed they may not give you a chance at getting a job. So these are signs number one, garbage code. You may do a lot of work and indeed you do bigger tasks but your code looks bad. Poor arrangement of code. Indeed it's an it's something that shows that your code is bad and can't be interviewed by any senior software developer. So it gives hard time for people to review your code if it's not well arranged. It's better you arrange your code in a, a good manner so that you give an opportunity to other people to review your code. Number two, low effectiveness. In most cases, you may be new to a software company or an open source platform and you may show that you're working hard but your results are low. You may work hard to show to other people that you're really hard working but at the end of the day, nothing to show that you have been worked on or else you have worked at a lot but less is successful. Number three. Wasting time on non-important items or non-important issues. You may waste time on things like online shopping, reading news, watching TV, things that are not so necessary. Instead of wasting time in non-important things, it's better you consume that time to do to do important things like when it comes to code you should do you should research about new technologies and you should research about new ideas in programming and in coding you should do some exercises or work on certain simple projects which can help you improve in coding number four access meetings these access meetings are sometimes bad. It's better you focus on meetings that are so important. But being successful is not all about being busy. But it's all about being productive. When you waste most of the time in meetings, you will get less time to put in doing your practical work. Or else doing your exercises so at the end of that day you will end up wasting time in meetings and less tasks will be worked on number five if you can't read someone's code it's a sign that you're still backward at coding if you're senior a senior developer is someone who can easily read someone's code. You may not be perfect, but at least you should have some idea and that skill of reading someone's code. Or else, um, that, that state is a state whereby you can easily review someone's code. When it comes to open source, that may be called to review. When you go to uh, someone's platform or open source, they are, when people do pull requests, they need to be reviewed by other developers. When you come and look through the code of someone, that is called code review. When you see that nothing, everything is working well and the code was good and it has good results, so it's, it's upon you to merge that code say that it can be added to to another code to make the work done so uh, number six is that fear in a community when it comes to uh, to communities maybe like uh, open source maybe like companies code coding companies 
um for the first time you may do your work because it's the first time and it's it, it's uh, and it's okay for you to get any mistakes since you're new uh, but for the first time you may receive many comments uh, some of the comments may be requesting you to do some correction about a certain thing that you have been working on uh, other questions may be correcting you uh, but for the first time uh, you may find those challenges but uh, if you are a weak software developer uh, you may quit at the first time uh, but if you are strong you can look at the mistakes and do a correction and then do it for the next time and third time then the following time you'll find that you have gained experience and you'll be among those ones that are good at coding so i think that idea has been so important but look through all the signs that make you a poor software engineer and Im improve on those on those problems uh, at the end of the day you will be good at coding so remember that uh, coding and coding doing exercises uh, doing projects code as you do a side project that will help your career and it will build more schools in you so thanks for watching see you right in the next one